Are we walking here? And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the benchmark on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. And we're just going to go through a few benchmark applications. First off, uh, we're going to take a look at Antutu. And just before I start, um, I did uh, do a full reboot before um, running these applications, and I've got nothing running, no applications running or anything like that. So it's just a nice, uh, clean test. Antutu. We're going to run that benchmark and we're going to see um, how well it performs. Let's see Note 3. Let's run the test. And I'm just going to run the test and I'll probably just skip through all of this um, and just give you the results at the end. And the test is finished and the results are in. So I'm just going to kind of zoom in a little bit, you can see my device, I got 35,529 which is pretty good, it's better, much better than the HTC One and the Samsung Galaxy S4, that's down to the Snapdragon 800 processor, it's a beast. So yeah, those are pretty good results, one of the top um, devices on there, so we're going to come out of that and we're going to run something else, we're going to run Quadrant Standard next, we're going to run a full benchmark and yeah. And that's about it for the results. So you could see the results. I got 21,212. Let me just zoom in a little bit so you could see. Hopefully you could see that 21,212, which is pretty good. These um, results are very old devices, but the results are good. And yeah, that's quadrant standard. Let's come out of that. Next we're going to do limb pack, we're going to run a couple single threads and then multi threads. Single thread 438, 419, 406, 436, 443, 458. So the highest I've seen, well that one was the highest I've seen is 460, which isn't too bad. Next one we'll run multi Eight hundred and ten, one thousand and sixteen, one thousand and sixteen. These results will vary all the time, but the highest I've seen is one thousand and sixteen. These ones are in like the high seven hundreds, eight hundred and sixty, one thousand um, and forty one. Run it two more times. Yeah, so the highest I've seen is 1041. Um, that's the results I get for the single thread and multi thread. Pretty good results. Next, I'm going to do another one. Uh, we're going to run 3D Mark. And we're just going to jump straight into the extreme test and just get that out of the way. Um, run the extreme one. Let's see what kind of results we get at the end of that. And I'll probably just skip through all of this so you don't have to wait and see everything. Okay, um, I just finished the test and it said maxed out. So basically I've maxed out everything. It says, this test is too light for your device. Try running Ice Storm Unlimited instead. So I'm going to try running Ice Storm Unlimited but basically it's maxed out graphics score and everything, um, it shows you the FPS and all the test and everything um, which is pretty good so yeah we're going to try the unlimited one really quickly and I'm just going to come back and bring you the results and yeah I just did the Ice Storm unlimited test and I've got 16,134 I'll scroll down and you can see what I've got in each um, category, got graphics, physics, graphics one, the demo and all of that stuff and yeah, that's the score that I've got. So, like I said before, I pretty much uh, maxed out the extreme one. And that's the result I got in the limited one. <clears throat> so, we're going to go back. Clear that. I think that's... You've got Smart Bench. We'll do Smart Bench. I'll skip through this and just show you the end result.
and the test is finished we're going to display index score and uh, the writing is very small so I want to, to zoom in a little bit don't know if you can see but the productivity index is 9 hold on a second productivity, productivity index is 9824 gaming index is 4369 I don't know how well you can see that on camera but the text is tiny and it's very difficult to see. So pr good results there. So we're just going to zoom out here really quick. And lastly, Nena Mark 2, I'm just going to throw that in there just because I can. Um, the results are probably going to be about 60 frames per second or something like that. It scores pretty well, um, you can see all the results and everything like that. Pretty well, it's, remember, uh, remember it's running the Snapdragon 800 processor, so it's pretty much going to beast through all of these tests. And yeah, that's about it for the video. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, leave your comments in the comment section down below, tell me what you think, and also subscribe before you see more videos, and thanks for watching. Peace.